Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the if and an or function in DAX. All of these functions and an or, they work exactly like the way in Excel, but they have subtle nuances that you would have to take care while you're working with these functions in Power BI. The first one, if you're trying to write the if function, and if you're trying to refer a particular column and you're trying to write a measure, then chances are that it might not work. We will actually take a look at what that means when we work in Power BI and we'll see the subtle differences. The next one is the and function. Now in the and function in Excel, you're able to write as many conditions as possible in power bi you mandatorily have to write two conditions and no more than two conditions but technically if you want to write more than two conditions you can use the double and percent to get over that problem we'll again take a look at that and the same applies to the or functions as well mandatorily write two conditions and if you want to go beyond two conditions and checking the or functions between them you can use a double pipe now let's just quickly hop over to an excel and to a power bi and take a look at the differences between the two and what do you need to keep in mind all right i'm in excel and i have a very simple data set here we have a date column we have a sales channel column and we have the value column and this is what I have done as a calculation using if I'm trying to calculate 10% commission which is paid out only to affiliates and that's the if function that I have written if the channel is equal to affiliate then multiply the value by 10% otherwise write a zero so simple three parts of if that's exactly what I would write in power bi as well let's just take a look at that so in power bi I again have those three same columns date sales channel and the value and this is the if that I've written as a column calculation calculation so if the channel equals to affiliate take the sales value multiply that with uh, 0.1 which is 10% otherwise nothing and you can see that here I have not written a zero I have just left out the false part as blank you can do that in power bi and if you do that it will automatically leave that value as blank in excel it gives you a false but in power bi it just works absolutely fine all right, that works exactly like Excel. Now let's just try to create a measure and let's just see that if we are able to do the same calculation of commission using a measure or not. So, all right, I'm going to come to the visual. In the visual, we have date, we have the sales channel and we have the total sales. And again, I have to do the commission calculation for affiliates only. And that is a 10% commission that I have to pay. So I'm going to come to the sales table. I'm going to right click and say a new measure and let's just write the commission measure and I say equals to and I start writing equals to if and I say e, channel equals to affiliate and you can see that I'm trying to write the word channel of the sales table and it's not allowing me to even write that. Now this is where a lot of people get stuck. The problem is that measures are not the rows of the table. Here when you were doing that in uh, the table you were created a column and you wrote that here in the table you are actually writing the formula in every single row of the table now a measure is not the row of the table and because the measure is not the row of the table you have to artificially create a row context and how do you do that you do that with an iterator function that allows you to go row by row calculation so I'm going to use the iterator function called sumx the sumx allows me to do row by row calculation so I'm going to say hey why don't you go in every single row of the sales table and as soon as I write sum x and in the expression part of the sum x it will allow me to access that particular column which it was not allowing me later so I'm gonna say equals to if and I'm gonna say the channel sorry the channel equals to affiliate and you can see that it has allowed me to write that if the channel equals to affiliate then I'm gonna take the value which is the sales value multiply that with 10% so 0.1 and otherwise I'm gonna leave it blank close the bracket close the bracket press enter and this measure is going to run absolutely fine if I drag that in the visual this is going to calculate the commission correctly the same answer that we had gotten earlier now let me just show you another measure and you try to figure out what is going on here I was not able to write the if outside of the sum x but suddenly I will now be able to write if outside of the sum x and you decide what's going on all right here is another measure that I have created which is check daily sales value all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see if the daily sales value is above 100 or not and if the daily sales value is above 100 then I write a yes otherwise I just leave it blank so if I just drag that measure to the visual wherever the sales value is above 100 or equal to 100 it is going to write a yes otherwise it's going to leave out the blank you can see that here I haven't really used an x function no x function nothing of that sort and I'm able to write that if now the thing is in all the parts of the if function right so you can see that if function technically has three parts you write the condition then you write the true action or the true value then you write the false value in all these parts of the if function you have to write a single value right so if I try to refer to a particular 
particular column here a particular column means multiple values in that column the if is not going to work total sales is a measure which actually gives me a single value each value that i have dragged it into the into the pivot table right here that becomes a single value and i'm again comparing it with the single value so left hand side is a single value right hand side is a single value yes is a single value and it validates that it starts to work note that none of the parts in the if function is going to function if there are multiple values supplied in the if function right and that's the reason why when you were trying to refer to a particular column in the if function it was not allowing you to do that and referring a particular column in the measure you will have to use the x function or the iterator all right that's the reason why this worked absolutely fine all right the and and the or functions work exactly like the same way you have to provide single values scalar values in the and and the or functions the only thing that i'm going to discuss with you that how do you get around the problem of writing multiple and conditions because the and function in power bi is going to restrict you to from just writing two conditions so let's just take a look at another uh, measure that i have created so i'm calculating a revised commission here and in the revised commission i'm checking for two conditions the channel is equals to organic and the second condition is that the day of the week should be a Sunday. So I'm extracting the day name here, comparing it with Sunday. And if both these conditions are true, then I do a 20% commission on the sales. And you can see that I have written the AND function nowhere. I've just used the double AND percent. Now, if I end up writing the AND function here, that's my condition number one. I'll have to delete the double AND percent, put a comma here, and then write the second part of the uh, condition right here. And then I'll have to close the bracket. Now, if you decide that you want to write the third uh, condition, you put a comma, you can see that it's only allowing you logical one and logical two and if, even if you start to write anything it's just going to give you that red line that this is not allowed if you want to get around that you'll have to use the double and percent to be able to write multiple conditions so i'm just going to cancel that real quick and let's say I want to write three conditions. So double and percent here, and then I'm going to write one more condition, double and percent here, and then I'm going to write say equals to one equals to one, which obviously is going to be the case. One will always be equals to one, but I'm just trying to show you that you can actually write three conditions or more than two conditions using the double and percent. The only difference in the OR function is going to be that the double and percent is going to be a double pipe symbol. So you can just write the double pipe symbol for writing the OR function. All right, all the things that we have learned about single scalar values is also going to apply to the AND function as well. You cannot refer to a particular column unless you artificially create a row context in the IF AND or the OR functions in Power BI DAX. All right, those are the places where most people get confused while writing the IF function. I hope I have adequately solved your doubts about the IF and the AND or the OR functions. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching this. You take care of yourselves and bye-bye.